Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. And uh, happy Friday, too, I guess. We got a coffee in hand and an open meter here, which means there's no power to the house, so we'll be working in the dark. So you definitely know it's going to be a good day. This house actually had an electrical fire a few months back. You can see how crispy it looks. This basement also has some I Am Legend vibes down here. See, there you are. I believe the dryer caught on fire and the breaker never tripped. So here's the old dryer. Toasty! If you can't tell by the meltedness, I don't know if that's a real word. This is probably the culprit. A washer plug being fed by a dryer outlet. We're gonna go ahead and double check the power's dead. Now we're gonna have some screw action here and take off the cover and expose the disconnect. I'm gonna get my crank on and loosen the main lugs. Now we're gonna free the panel from the old ass wire with my side cutters and some cable cutters. Then finally, I'm gonna smack that lock nut off. Smack that all on the floor. And down goes the panel. We're gonna hop outside and take off the LB cover. Then pull the wires out of the conduit. We're gonna try and pop out the end of the old conduit piece. There we go. And here's our new Eaton 200 amp panel. Back to some more smacking. Knocking out enough for our two inch offset connector. Beautiful, beautiful. And it's glue time. This is PVC glue, which will bond the connector to the old conduit. And the time has come. Up goes the panel. We are refeeding our wires, terminating our neutral and two hots. Our old ground fell victim to the fire, so we installed a new one. Then back goes the main cover and cover, and we done. 